Welcome to 3 Minute Thursdays. 3 Minute Thursdays are a short breakdown of topics that you will see within your flight training here at UND. The goal is for you, the student, to have a better understanding of what it takes to become a safe, professional pilot. Hello, my name is Tyler Lauer. I'm a lead flight instructor at UND Aerospace. I'd like to take a moment to formally introduce you to the roundout. We often teach the round out and flare as one maneuver. However, these are two very separate tasks to accomplish as you continue your journey to the perfect landing. The FAA defines the round out as beginning at 10 to 20 feet. This is important as we are starting the final power reduction to idle. Think of this as a transitional period between your approach attitude and your landing attitude. The round out happens fast and it's all about timing. One of the main reasons to adjust your timing is you guessed it, wind. One suggestion is to use two stripes prior to the aiming point to begin the power reduction to idle. When the second stripe starts to disappear, begin a slow reduction in power with the goal of being at idle once the aiming point itself can no longer be seen. To understand the timing of the roundout, we have to continue playing the wind game. Wind will slow down your ground speed on final. If you reduce power at the same rate as you would on a calm wind day, the airplane will not glide as far during the round out and flare. So, you will need to slow down the rate at which you reduce power to idle in the higher wind situation in order to still reach your desired touchdown point. Crosswind correction during the round out continues to be very important. You need to understand that as airflow slows down over the flight controls, they become less effective. This means that the crosswind correction you had at 200 feet and 66 knots will not be enough as you slow down through the mid 50s into the roundout. The roundout takes less time than this outro. It's all about timing. We cannot skip this step in the approach. Think of it as leveling off just above the runway and dissipating that last little bit of approach energy as you transition into the flare. Don't forget, always keep playing the wind game. Thank you for watching 3 Minute Thursdays. If you have a topic that you would like to see covered, please comment below. Remember, fly safe, and we'll see you on the flight line. crosswind correction you had at 200 feet AGL and 600, 600 knots, We're you're right, rolling. you're are you right. <laughs> you probably couldn't even move flight controls at 600 knots in the archery.